If you like these stories and you want to follow the giants along on their adventures, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Tell me a giant toy. Luna, Bo, Apple Peach Banana, and Ernie Giant were all laying on the floor drawing pictures in their notebooks. It was Luna's idea to have a drawing contest. And all of the giant children were drawing their favorite animals. They were using pencils to make their drawings. In case they made any mistakes, they could just erase it and redraw. Luna chose to draw a horse because that was her favorite animal. Bo chose to draw an alligator because at that moment he loved alligators. Apple Peach Banana was drawing a cat because she loved her kitties that she had got when it rained cats. And Ernie was laying on his tummy drawing a robot. Ernie didn't really understand the directions Luna had given him, but he wanted to join in the drawing fun. So he was sitting there drawing a robot. Luna had loved drawing since she was so small. She always wanted to draw things. She would have a pencil and a piece of paper with her at all times in case she got inspiration for a new drawing. Once Luna had finished the outline of her horse and she was satisfied with the way it looked, she got out the colored pencil tin that had colored pencils in it her aunt had sent her from overseas. Aunt Lucinda knew how much the giants loved to draw, so she always sent them art supplies and kept their art drawers stocked. Luna was happily coloring her horse in and shading it where it needed to be shaded and putting highlights where it needed to have highlights. When Luna was satisfied with her drawing, she held it up for Bo, Apple Peach Banana, and Ernie to see. She said, look at my art. Do you guys like the horse I drew? While Bo was looking at it, he thought he saw the drawing move. It looked like the horse was walking. Luna, how did you make your horse look like it was walking? Luna said, huh? What? She looked at the paper and the horse was standing still. She didn't know what Bo was talking about. She held it up again and Apple Peach Banana said, I just saw your horse's tail move. When Luna flipped the paper back over to look at the horse, she didn't see anything moving. And then she flipped it back over and Ernie said, The horse definitely switched his tail. Huh? What? Luna said. She flipped the paper over and looked at it again, this time really studying it. And then she heard, <coughs> What in the world is going on? Luna said. This horse is alive! Bo said, I think it's because your drawing is so realistic. It's so realistic that it came to life. Then Bo looked down at his paper and saw his alligator and said, I'm not finishing my drawing. I don't want this alligator to come to life. And he immediately stopped drawing an alligator and grabbed a new piece of paper to draw a bunny because bunnies are way more mild than alligators because you just don't know when an alligator could bite you. Apple Peach Banana said, I hope my cat comes to life. As she was using the colored pencils that her aunt had sent her. She was coloring the cat orange with white dots. When she was done and satisfied with her drawing, she held it up. Hey guys, guys, I finished my kitty cat. Do you like it? Do you like my drawing? Luna, Bo, and Ernie were watching Apple Peach Banana's drawing, waiting to see if anything would move. Nothing did. Apple Peach Banana laid her drawing back down on the table. And Ernie was finally done with his drawing, so he lifted up and said, Do you like my robot, guys? 
Luna looked at the robot. Ernie, the light on the top of the robot just lit up. Ernie turned his picture back so he could see it, and sure enough, the light on the top of the robot's head had turned on. And at that moment, they heard a... Which made them all look really quickly over at Apple Peach Banana's cat. And her cat was licking itself, meowing. Then, when Bo was finished making his bunny, he watched his bunny hop around the paper. Luna asked, Do you guys think that our drawings are so realistic they came to life? Or do you think it's some sort of magic in those colored pencils? Bo said, There's only one way to find out. So they all grabbed new pieces of paper and began to draw their next drawing. Let's draw fruit, Luna suggested. So she got to work on drawing a banana. Bo got to work on drawing watermelon. Apple Peach Banana worked on drawing a lemon. And Ernie was drawing an apple. But this time, when they had finished drawing the outlines of their fruit, they got different colored pencils, not the colored pencils that their aunt sent them. And they started to color their fruit in. When they were done, they looked at their fruit. They almost looked good enough to eat. They were admiring their pictures. All of a sudden, Luna sniffed. Do you guys smell that? She asked. Bo took a sniff. Then Apple Peach Banana. And then Ernie. I smell that, Bo said. Me too, Apple Peach Banana said. Ernie said, I smell bananas. So all the giants looked at Luna's paper at the banana. Apple Peach Banana took out her fingers and went to grab the banana off the paper. And she did. She was holding on to the banana that Luna had drawn. It had turned real. Bo picked up his watermelon, and ap Apple Peach Banana grabbed her lemon, and Ernie was even able to grab his apple, and Ernie took a great big bite. <sniffs> Luna asked, does it taste good? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, this apple tastes pretty good. Luna grabbed her banana from Apple Peach Banana, peeled it, and inside was the palest looking banana she had ever seen. It was as white as paper. She too took a bite of her banana that she had drawn. Hmm, that's a pretty good banana, she said. Oh, got a knife carefully cut open his watermelon. He gave everyone a slice of it and got into eating it. This watermelon wasn't red on the inside like other real watermelons. The watermelon that Bo had drawn was perfectly green on the outside. It looked realistic. But on the inside of the watermelon, it was as white as the paper. They took a bite and it was so sweet and juicy. Then, Apple Peach Banana said, Let's eat my lemon! So, she used the same nice knife that Bo used and carefully cut it open. Gave everyone a little slice of lemon. And they all took a bite. Oh, that's sour! That's sour! Apple Peach Banana said. That's the most flavorful sour lemon I've ever tasted, Luna said. 
Then, out of the corner of her eye, she saw the horse that she had drawn run by on the kitchen table. Oh no, my horse is getting away, Luna said. Then, Bo saw that his bunny was jumping around the house. And Apple Peach Banana saw her cat running around the house. And Ernie saw his robot robotting around. Luna said, Quick, Bo, get a box! So Bo ran out to their garage and grabbed a box, brought it back inside as Luna corralled the animals and the robot into the box. Once they were all in the box, Bo shut the lid tight and said, What are we going to do, guys? We can't have these animals running around our house. Since the animals were drawn on pieces of paper, they were tiny, but they were alive, and they looked hungry. Apple Peach Banana said, let's bring them outside. They could eat out there. So Bo lifted the box up, brought the box outside, and put it down. The horse and the bunny got to eating the grass right away. They were starving. The robot didn't eat, so it didn't eat anything. And Apple Peach Banana got some cat food for her little kitty cat, and it ate. Luna said, but now what? There's no way Mom is going to let us keep these animals. Bo said, I know. Let's draw a farm with a pasture and green grass and mice for the cat to eat. And then, maybe if we draw it realistic enough, it will become real. And then we can put the horse and the cat and the bunny and the robot in the farm we draw. Then, the robot could be a farmer robot and he could take care of all of the animals that we drew. That is a great idea, Bo. Luna said. That's a lot of work, though. We all need to work on it together. Luna grabbed the ream of paper and she spread it out. She had to tape some together so it was big enough for a farm for the animals. It took weeks for the giant children to draw the realistic farm. It had a barn and a giant pasture with alfalfa and grass and even carrots for the bunny. They drew little barn mice for the cat to chase around and a charging stand with solar panels so the robot could get energy. Oh, it's almost done. All we have to do is color in the roof of the barn and it will be complete. Let's put this outside where we're going to have the farm be so we don't have to carry it all out once it all becomes real. So they rolled up the reams of paper taped together and grabbed their pencils and headed to the other side of the mountain where they unrolled it and had Ernie do the honors of finishing the roof. When it was complete, the children closed their eyes, did a little dance, opened them, and there was the entire farm they had drawn right there in front of them. Bo had grabbed the box with the horse, cat, robot, and bunny in it was able to open it up and right away the animals made themselves at home in this new farm. The cat started chasing the mice, the horse was running around the pasture, and the bunny was nibbling on carrots. The robot was already busy working on spreading hay in the barn. Luna looked around her and said, not bad, guys, but I think I want to take a break from drawing for a little bit. Who knew it was going to be so much work being an artist? 
Ro said, Yeah, I think I'm going to take a break from art, too. Apple Peach Banana and Ernie agreed that although they had excellent talent in art, they also needed a break. The end. Good night, Giants.